Like this, eh? Yes. Okay, so I'm go okay. Hey, wow. It looks so rough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's the crocodile um, over here at the Paga Chiefs Crocodile Pond. Is it on the head towards me? <laughs> no, no, no. Are you checking for me? Oh? People of Paga too now started treating them like our ancestors. Mm. When you see them, we protect them. We don't kill them, we feed them, you understand? Mm -hmm. That is how they are also being close to us. Oh, okay. And they are friendly. places crocodiles can be very aggressive oh yes but because here we have that spiritual link with them mm -hmm. with their ancestors okay ancestor, our ancestors mm -hmm. that is why they are also being friendly to us oh okay yes the head is turning on my brother yeah it won't do anything it won't do anything oh okay so <laughs> that is it over here as you can see um the back looks so rough and it's, it looks so beautiful but i love it it's, it's blind right yeah. yes as a result of um a fierce fight and it looks so heavy Wow, what do they eat normally? Is it only the chickens or? Yeah, there's fish inside the water. There's fish inside the water there's as well. There's fish and then tilapia. Oh, okay. So you can go back and then leave it here. <laughs> like this, eh? Uh, it wouldn't do anything. No. Okay, do you have a name for it? <coughs> hey, it wants to move no. In Paris here, we don't eat crocodiles mm. and we don't kill them. Okay. Whenever they die, we bury them like the way we bury our people here. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. So let me welcome you once again and thank you so much for always having time over here with me. Currently at the Chief's Palace, Paga's Crocodile Pond inside the Paga. Yes, a very small town and a very interesting and a very beautiful town in the Upper East region. Just um after Navrongo. Yes. And so currently at the place, and that's the pond over there on your screen and these are some of the crocodiles in the water that you see over there on your screen yeah these crocodiles are very interesting and this very time i am actually going to spend time to go into the history behind these interesting crocodiles at this particular place it's so surprising that cats at this area are able to swim together with these crocodiles inside this small pond over there that you see and so fortunately for me i've been able to get in touch with a tour guide over here who is going to take us through the history behind this pond over here how it came about and how all these crocodiles actually came about over here now the surprising thing is that these crocodiles are the paga chiefs crocodiles uh, pond over here do not bite do not attack um, people of this particular town what is the reason behind what is the history behind stay cool over here and all that you got to do is to click on the subscribe button please if you've not done that kindly click on the subscribe button there are more to come over here on my platform so let's have time listen to the history behind but before that do you know that this crocodile on the ground here now is blind let's listen to what caused the blindness this particular one is blind uh, uh it's blind yeah it cannot see yes wow well, what happened you know they fought inside the water so they fought it's lost its height oh okay okay like this eh? yes Okay, so I'm go okay. Hey, wow, it looks so rough. Uh, please, I'm called Amid Mahama. Amid Mahama, one of the official tour guys to the chief of Oh, okay, yeah. in Paga here. In Paga here. All right, so we want to know the history behind it. So, the, the reason why we call this pond the chief pond mm -hmm. is because we have about three ponds in Paga here. Okay, but this pond happens to be the, the first one. Okay, that is why we name it chief pond. Okay, so the history. Behind these crocodiles in Paga here, mm -hmm. 
all started from the founder of this community, uh, who is called Nave. Okay. And he was staying at a village under Burkina Faso called Kampala. Uh, so his father was the chief at okay. that village. Uh -huh. And Nave was having step brothers, including himself. Uh, so it got to a point that Nave and his brothers lost the, their father, the chief. Uh -huh. And they were now to contest for the throne. Okay. To see the one who uh, succeed the father. Uh, so, per the history, Nave was the favorite son among the children okay. when the chief was alive. Mm. So the other brothers were having this kind of hatred against him because they believe, they strongly believe that if the chief is no more, he's having this, the strong chance to succeed the father. Okay. So they were trying, trying to eliminate him so that they can take over. Mm. You understand? Because he was the only child of his, the mother. Okay. You understand? Mm. So the brothers were planning to eliminate him so that they can get away. Okay. To succeed the, the mm. truth. So one day he was being chased by his brothers. In the process of running, he also got to a very large river which he can't be able to cross. Mm -hmm. So the brothers too were coming after him and it was in the forest. Mm -hmm. So he saw a crocodile in the water. Mm -hmm. There that he held the crocodile tail mm -hmm. and the crocodile swam with him across the river. Oh, okay. So when the brothers got there, they don't know how he managed to cross. Mm. So they couldn't cross the river, so they returned back to Kampala. So when Nave crossed the river, he was now searching to settle down and make his own family. Mm. Because he wasn't having the plan of returning home again. Mm -hmm. Because he knew very well that the brothers don't like him. Mm. So he was now searching a place to settle down and make his own family. So in search of place that he got to a village in the Paga here called Nania. Okay. That is Abedipele's hometown. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know Abedipele is from Paga. Yes. And the community is called Nania. Okay. Yes. So when Nave got to Nania, he said, this is where my eye desire to settle down. Mm. This is where my eye's place is to settle. Mm -hmm. So the full name of Paga is Ayi Pagayu. Okay. Ayi Pagayu simply means this is where my eye desire. Okay. Ayi? Ayi. I, he means I. Okay. And desire means to like something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Taga. Taga means Ayi to desire. Paga. Yes. Oh, okay. So the taga means to desire something. Yeah. Meaning my I desire to settle here. Oh, okay. So that is why they call it Paga. Okay. But the full name is Ayi Pagayo. Ayi Pagayo. Yeah. Okay. So when he settled down there, not quite long, he found his crocodile around that community. Mm. So he was protecting the crocodile and create a small pond for the crocodile. Wow. Because since the crocodile helped him to escape from the brothers, mm -hmm. he now believed that crocodiles they are spiritual sent to him. Oh okay. So whenever he see them, mm -hmm. he's also trying to protect them. Mm. And so he was protecting the crocodile. Later oh. on, people also started joining him in that community to settle down with him. So when he settled at Nanya community, mm -hmm. Later on, people started joining him there to mm. settle down with him. Mm -hmm. Those that were in support of him to become the chief at Kampala, mm. some of them were joining him at Nani. Okay. So when they come, he narrated the story how he was being chased by the brothers. Mm -hmm. Even though because of the crocodile, he wouldn't have been alive. Mm. They were uh, eliminating. Mm -hmm. So whenever he narrated the story to them, he no more swear to them that none of them should ever kill crocodile in their lifetime or eat crocodile. Oh, okay. Because crocodiles help, crocodile help save his life. Yeah. Yes. So, later on, when he died, the people of Pagatu now started treating them like our ancestors. Mm. When you see them, we protect them, we don't kill them, we feed them, you understand? Mm -hmm. That is how they are also being close to us. Oh, okay. And they are friendly. Mm. Other places, crocodiles can be very aggressive. Oh, yes. But because here we have that spiritual link with them, mm -hmm. with their ancestors, okay. ancestor, our ancestors, mm -hmm. that is why they are also being friendly to us. Oh, okay. Yes. In Para here, we don't eat crocodiles mm -hmm. and we don't kill them. Okay. Whenever they die, we bury them like the way we bury our people here. Mm -hmm. We dig a hole and bury them inside. Oh, okay. Yes. Inside the water, too, we have more than 200 of them in there. Wow. Yes, but kids can go in and swim with them, mm -hmm. come out safely without any harm. Okay. In the night, these crocodiles can, these crocodiles can walk out and go into the community. Mm -hmm. That is where they go to lay their eggs mm -hmm. and hide the babies and bring them into the pond. Okay. But they, are, they don't harm people. Mm -hmm. they, are, they have never been an incident that they attack somebody. Okay. So Pada here is full of crocodiles. Wow. Yes. Wow.
I mean, it's possible to see them around, but not in daytime. Or yes. During daytime too? No, no, in the night. In the night. You know, they are cool barrier animals. Yes. So the normal light moving when the, the sun is not scorching. Okay. Uh -huh. When the sun is scorching like this, even okay. if you are calling them, sometimes it's difficult to come out. Yes. yes. But we were lucky this time to see one of them. Yeah. Yes, at the bank of the, yeah. of the pond. Okay. So has there been a time that they've attacked a stranger? Yes. Because the town, the island is also full of strangers, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, the quarters over there, mm -hmm. those quarters there, mm. it's full of strangers alone. Okay. Those are the district, uh, the assembly workers. Mm. But they have been going to the homes. Oh, okay. But they don't attack them. Oh, I see. It's not that they are friendly to only the citizens, mm. or uh, only the neighbors, okay. or only the natives. Mm. It's not that. They are just friendly to everybody who is in Paga here. Mm -hmm. It's only that if you are having the bad intention of harming them, mm. that is where they also become aggressive to attack. Oh, attacking. okay. You understand? Yeah. Um, but once you are here, mm -hmm. you can play with them, and they will know there will never be any incident that they have. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So before we bring this conversation one, and um, someone is watching across the country, others are watching also um, outside Ghana. If someone wants to visit. Paga Chiris Crocodile Pond. Uh, give us a short, I mean, uh, description, location description. What the person should do, where to pass, and all that. Now that, let's uh, just say, the GPS and other things, digitalization, because of those things. Okay. Because by this pond is at the. This is the border town. Paga. Yes. Paga. Okay. So when you get to Paga town, mm -hmm. you have to move ahead to the border okay when you are getting to the border mm -hmm. you just by the roadside mm. at the uh, at the left That's hand your side left hand side great. by the road okay yes as i say earlier on this is not the only point mm. but this one happens to be the chief one okay so most people prefer visiting here mm. so there is also another one just by the hilltop okay when you are just at the town mm -hmm. and you are coming you get to that one before this one. Mm. That one is at the town side. Okay. But this one is rather at the border route. Yeah. So when you are coming here, you just come, move straight, come, come into the border side. Mm. You will see the signboard just at the left hand side. Okay. okay. All right. Okay, sir, thank you so much. You're God bless you for your time. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay, so um, we've had enough time to also listen to the <laughs> history behind the Paga Cheese Crocodiles Pond over here. I actually, this is not the only pond over here, as you rightly heard. There are a lot of them, uh, about three, but this one is what people preferably come to uh, visit. And so that is it. And thank you so much for also having time over here. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button, be part of this. Wonderful for me. There are lots over here in the Upper East region. We shall actually be touring a lot of places to actually get you more content over here on my channel. Yeah.